Hello guys, I am Dr. Robot. Today we are going to discuss a simple topic that is the difference between bacterial infection and viral infection. Do you know what is bacterial infection? The bacterial infection is a proliferation of harmful strain of bacteria on or inside the body. Bacteria can infect any area of the body. Pneumonia, meningitis or just a few illness that may be caused by harmful bacteria. A viral infection is a proliferation of harmful virus inside the body. Viruses cannot reproduce without the help of the host. Viruses infect a host by introducing their genetic material into the cells and hijacking the cells internal machinery to make more virus particles. HIV, COVID-19 are the infections caused due to harmful viruses. In simple words, let's see the difference between bacteria and viruses. The bacteria are said to be the first life on earth. These are the prokaryotes and they contain cell wall, cytoplasm, ribosomes, granules and they lack true nucleus. The viruses are the collection of genetic material and proteins. They cause infection in all forms. The size of bacteria may vary from 0.5 to 2 mm and surface volume ratio is 3 is to 1. The shape cannot be exact. It can change during its lifetime. The bacteria is of four shapes, namely cocci, bacilli, spiral, and irregular. Gram positive versus gram negative bacteria. The example of gram positive bacteria is Andrasis bacillus. It contains plasma membrane, periplasmic space, and peptidoglycan, whereas the gram negative bacteria contains plasma membrane, periplasmic space, peptidoglycan and other membrane like lipopolysaccharide and protein. The example of gram-negative bacteria is Bacillus subtilis. These are the overall information about bacteria. Where? Now let's see about the virus. What is a virus? These are the infectious agents, not cells. They have no nucleus, organelles and cytoplasm. They can replicate only inside the living cell. They contain only one type of genetic molecule either DNA or RNA. They do not grow. Other viral characteristics. Some viruses have envelope. These are the lipid-rich layer outside the protein coat. These proteins may help to infect cells. Example, HIV, flu. These some other viruses may contain tails, spikes and legs. The host range. It is a kind of cell or organism it can infect. It can infect only the cell that has target protein on the outside. Example, HIV only infects human helper T cells, while rabies infects any mammal. The reservoir. The reservoir is a place where virus exists in nature, acts as a source of virus for host. Example, birds may cause bird flu. Whether the viruses are alive? There are several reasons to say that the viruses are not alive and several reasons to say that they are alive. The reasons to say that the viruses are not alive are they do not metabolize, they does not respond to stimuli and they does not reproduce by its own. The reason to say that the viruses are alive are they have genetic materials like DNA or RNA, viruses can evolve and classified similarly like family, genus and species. Do you know how viruses replicate? The viruses usually uses its host cell to make new viral particles. It includes five steps, namely attachment. Here the virus attaches to the host cell by sticking to receptor on cell surface. 2. Penetration. The viral genetic material enters host cell by engulfing or injecting. 3. Synthesis. The virus produces lots of copies of genetic material in host cell. Host cell provides all needed materials. 4. Assembly Subunits of capsid join. Genetic material packed. 5. Release Exocytosis Breakdown of cell wall but from host particle. The death of host cell The host cell may die immediately or may delay. The immediate death may be caused due to lytic infection where the virus enters the cell, immediately replicates, causes the host cell to burst. The newly released viruses infect other cells. The delayed death may be caused due to lysogenic infection where the genetic material enters the host cell, 
replicates with hard cell chromosomes, eventually switch to lytic infection, prophates, bacteriophages, DNA inserted into hard cell DNA. Only few copies are made that will determine if infection becomes lytic. Cell death causes symptoms and the amount of cell death determines the severity of symptoms. The bacterial infections are usually treated by antibiotics. Industrially produced antibiotics are produced by fermentation where the source of microorganism is grown in large liquid growth medium. The infections like TB and other bacterial infections can be treated by the antibiotics like amoxicillin, doxycycline, azithromycin, ciprofloxacin. The viral infections are treated by antiviral drugs. These may interfere with the enzymes and genetic information. However, body rarely ever is cured from a virus as the drugs kill host cell as well. Vaccinations. The vaccine may contain the inactivated or killed form of particular virus. The vaccinations are used to teach body how to fight infection when they see it again. Example, measles vaccine confer immunity for life, where flu vaccine have to get every year. There are several plant virus like tobacco mosaic virus that are usually spread by leaf eating insects. Some common antiviral drugs include Oseltamivir, Zanamivir, Paramivir, Valoxavir, Marboxil. Thank you guys. If you find it easy to understand the lessons, please do like, share and subscribe to Dr. Medicine.